For about 8 months, I've been working on a top-down dungeon crawler with my team. It's called Into the Chasm, and work on it has been going well. There's a ton of new stuff that's been added since the last devlog, and in this video, I'm going to go over everything that's changed. To start, Madcat34 created a really cool Legend-style story for the game. My idea is to have three books in the library. The Log Book, a log kept by the warrior. The Legend Book, which contains the legend of the Great Knight of the Chasm. And the History Book, outlining the wars between the mages and the creatures of the chasm. I haven't been able to add the Legend Book, and it hasn't been divided into chapters yet, but I did have Colonel Turtle create a cool sprite for it. The legend is about a knight from West Offland who was sent into the chasm to fight off a deadly dragon that killed all the other warriors. He was going to die until he read a spell off of a page of a spell book. It was the only spell that was known to be doable by non-mages, and he used it to defeat the dragon. When he got back to his king, his king revealed that in fact it was not only doable by non-mages, but he was the last mage. Eventually more mages popped up all over the kingdom, and that's the origin of the mages of the castle. Obviously, there's a lot more than this, but I'm not going to go in-depth because I don't want to spoil the entire game. After that, I decided to work on the armory. In the armory, you can choose between different sets of armor and different weapons. I worked on this for a while, and I soon had a working menu. All three sets of armor and three weapons to choose from. They all have different stats, so you can prioritize speed, but you'll have less damage than armor, or you can be slower but more powerful. It also created some cool art for the armor sets and weapons, and I'm especially happy with this one. The armory also auto-saves your selection, so you don't have to reselect every time. Later, I decided to add more abilities to the game, besides the Grand Pun and Flash. I had a few ideas for ways to implement this. I really needed a good system, because I didn't want to swamp the player with different controls, like F and G and H and J and K and L and all the other keys on the keyboard. I eventually decided to have 9 abilities, where you can find one per level, though you do have to search for them. By level 10, you will have abilities which you must use to beat the final level, which will be really hard. I began brainstorming ideas for abilities, and I had quite a few. An invincibility spell, a whirlwind that pulls in and injures enemies, an angel wings ability that makes you temporarily immune to falling into the void, and many more. I made a new system for the abilities, and then I got to work on the wings. Flying Zucchini made an icon for the flash, and I made one for the ground pound. I got the wings working, and they look really cool right now. I had a really good 3 frame animation, but it just didn't fit the simple graphics of the game because 3 frames looked a lot smoother than all the other animations, so I changed it just down to 2 frames, one where the wings are up and one where they're down. I really like the colors and the arrangement of the wings, and the icon for them looks pretty good, and then I immediately got to work on the invincibility spell. I wasn't able to finish it as there are a ton of bugs, but I'll keep on working. I ran out of time and had to get to work on this devlog, but that's it for now. If you enjoyed, please subscribe.